Today, we collect our Town Hall 8 Gold Pass and check out some more attacks. What's shaking guys, it's Feldy bringing you another Clash of Clans video and today we have got my Town Hall 8 that had the Gold Pass on it and uh, if you notice if you bought the gold pass in April, you get this exclusive offer of a book of everything and a book of heroes plus 400 gems at eight times the value. Only three buckaroos is what it will cost you. And then you have your chance to get the gold pass for May. Now, let me just show you some of these rewards in the May offer because I really feel like May's is going to be worth it even more than april's so you've got the one gem donations again you get a power potion you get okay so let's just do the free one right like five hundred thousand gold five thousand dark elixir a training potion five hundred thousand elixir a resource potion seventy five hundred dark elixir ten thousand dark elixir a clock tower training potion meh one million in gold a builder potion that's nice a million in elixir, 1.5 in gold, a power potion, 1,500 in dark elixir, 1.5 in elixir, and a book of heroes. All right, that alone for May is going to be incredible for you guys to do these challenges and fix it all up and go crazy and get whatever you need, right? But look at this. One gem donation, a power potion, 10% builder boost, a hero potion, 10% research boost. Now, you can get pretty much all of that just from completing your CWL challenge, right? And you can get almost all of that from just donating troops, which is about 200. So once you get to that, uh, the 10% builder boost and the 10% research, then that is when I'm going to start spending money or um, all my resources, essentially. So um, I'm going to go back into here and I want to show you guys kind of the progress of this base. But let me just finish this first. <clears throat> Five times wall rings, 10% training boost. That's big. A book of heroes, book of building and a book of fighting back to back to back. That is crazy value right there. The bigger season bank, obviously going from um, 5 million to 15, that's huge. A builder potion, that's big, especially if you're still upgrading. 15% research boost, an obstacle, shovel, whatever, uh, shovel of obstacles, meh. They're nice. It's a nice addition to the game, but I think it's a little, um, I don't know like once you fix up your your base it's a little okay i'm i'm done with that uh 15 builder boost a hero potion 15 percent training boost a gold of rune a ru rune of gold how about that a rune of elixir and a rune of dark elixir back to back to back now if you don't think that that five dollars is worth it alone the rune of dark elixir is three thousand gems three thousand gems in the shop will cost you over twenty dollars so right there that value is insane insane guys so uh then you get your bigger season bank you get a power potion a research boost five times the wall rings 20% builder boost. Now that's really where the path starts to come in handy is these builder boosts, the training boosts, and the research boosts. Uh, you get a book of spells, another shovel, um, the bigger season bank, which is awesome. But check out that queen gladiator skin. That is absolutely sick. Now, clearly, I can't even get the skin on this town hall yet because I I'm still a Town Hall 8, but check this out. I only have a couple more spring traps to go and then walls. Now, I was saving my um, my one builder because I actually just upgraded a whole bunch of walls. And then I did these um, level 8 walls, which I have to agree with my buddy Misfits that this is the coolest wall level that they ever created. Um, it just it has such a crazy awesome look to it. Um, 
the words that I really wanted to say, I have to keep it PG-13 um, for friends and family purposes. All right. So my Town Hall 8 is ready to go. Should I upgrade my Town Hall 8 to Town Hall 9 and just do the wall grind? If I do it, it's four days. Um, I can wait just a little bit longer and get some of these season perks and buy the pass and then get probably, what is it going to be, like three days and eight hours or something like that. It will cut a significant amount of time off of it. Um, but it's still going to be right, right around three days. And then I can really go ham. I can get my queen. I can get all the packs, you know, all that good stuff. But this pack right here is just so, so good. It is insane, the value of that pack. Um, I am going to wait probably just a few days. I do have four days to buy it. So I'm not going to buy it quite yet um, as... I just don't know. Like, I can't even collect my elixir. Um, you can see how much elixir I've got, how much dark elixir I've got. Plus, we've got the one gem boost going on right now. So all of my stuff, they're all full um, once this little red thing goes away. The capacity, this is at capacity. Um, yeah, it's just, it's bananas. So I still have two days left on my rage spell, which I'll probably end up um i'll probably end up gemming that really soon here and then i will go through and do some upgrades um let's see what magic items i have i do have a spell and i do have a book of building so i could in theory book of building the town hall and just get it over and done with but uh i might just save my spell for say the poison um get that going and then maybe do a Valk upgrade because I have so much Dark Elixir. I know I really do want to spend it on the heroes, but the Valks in Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10 are really, really powerful. All right, that's kind of the update on the Town Hall 8 base. Let's get into um, a couple of war replays. Now, we've won the last two wars in my Auburn Tigers clan. These guys are just awesome dudes. I really can't even tell you how awesome it is. They've just kind of embraced me as a... Uh, a YouTuber and a big shout out to the the clan in general. Um, we're gonna get into a replay down here where bowlers might be a little OP in this war. Okay, so um, we've got Gravity Graves. He comes in with a beautiful three star attack on a Town Hall 12, maxed out Town Hall 12. Pretty much um, defenses are pretty upgraded. You can see the Wizard Towers are upgraded, the Infernos are upgraded, the Airdies are upgraded, the Eagles upgraded. Um, but he comes in kind of with this queen walk, um, and then he drops some troops over, and he's got bowlers as well. So he starts kind of doing some cleanup around the outside. He's got minions, um, or I say, I rather say, miners and bowlers to really get into this core of the base and gut it out. So. He starts dropping his miners now. You'll notice miners, one of their nemesis are the eagle. And that eagle stays up for quite a while in this raid. So check this out. This single target inferno locks onto the queen. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, she is going to go down. He hits it right in time. He gets that wall wrecker in, crushes to that town hall, and then has the rage spell. He's got the grand warden's ability, hits it at the beautiful beautiful right time to get all that core down even with the tornado trap um he's just going ham right here just so much going on bowlers definitely op everything that you see in this base you're gonna see bowlers 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 are gonna do the job so uh i should say in this war not this base um forgive me i am still recovering from my surgery and uh, so it's just a little crazy here. I'm on medications and trying to um, get the swelling down and all this good stuff. So it's, uh, it's a little fun. Good times had by all, except for my elbow, because that's what really hurts right now. So bowlers, lots of bowlers still alive. This baby drag comes in, starts cleaning up, really does a great job. Um, baby drags, I think, are really undervalued. Um, they have a rage on them already. So you don't even need a spell 
and if they're upgraded to max they're really good so gravity graves amazing three star right there check out drew with his town hall 12 crush with bowlers i told you bowlers would be op bowlers are for sure op i'm gonna just two times speed this and uh check this out we've got a few giants that go in up top to trigger any traps and then the bowlers come in and it is just absolute annihilation look at i mean beautiful jump spell getting right over those walls i mean you really don't even need the jump spell to be honest with you i would have saved it to the core but um look at this just okay now i want to just kind of pause it he does a great job right here and he has the grand warden's ability queen he hits the grand warden's ability and um is able to knock out those baby drag and drag uh, clan castle troops because if you take all bowlers your only air killer is your queen so you really got to be careful with that but he was able to funnel them in and get get them um, to kill the clan castle troops drew had an amazing attack right here you obviously know it's a three star look at how many bowlers are left at the end of this attack just super crazy super op um how many healers are up at the end of this too like two healers and two full golems that's insane all right one last quick attack and i want to show you we didn't have a lot of three stars kind of in the middle here on our town hall 11s but we did end up having paul three star a town hall 10 and i'm gonna just two times speed it this was a little scary because uh you get that e-drag on those bowlers especially right after you put the mass bowlers down you're only relying on that queen to take down those troops and uh the grand warden's ability had to be popped we still had that single target inferno um the king uh got annihilated by the uh, opponent queen but he had enough freezes and uh just enough troops barely at the end to make this a three star but uh Paul did a great job here coming in and using bowlers to his advantage, using that splash damage, really kind of creating havoc. And then uh, the healers at the end do end up, I think, going down to this air D. Um, the Grand Warden's kind of attacking the Town Hall, which is a little bizarre that he didn't go find the troops to kind of help out with, like he did right there. Um, but needless to say it was still a really good job well done yeah so there is a couple uh healers left at the end of this but yeah pretty crazy bowlers super op great job to my auburn tiger clan here getting that war win and three starring with bowlers non-stop all right guys that does it for today's video i hope you guys enjoy it i will be back with more content as i can Bear with me with the elbow. I really appreciate all your love and support. And in the next video, I will have the winner for the April giveaway. Feldy, peace.